Cancer. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 13th to the 19th of March 2023. It's got a frog in my throat. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Oh, let's drink. <clears throat> right, <laughs> we're ready, <laughs> Cancer. So 13th to the 19th of March, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Cancer. Overall, you get the tower. Something that needs to be released here and um, it's been holding you back, weighing you down and it's almost like um, boom, it's just gone, just like that. But it may cause a bit of a flow on effect where you need to let the dust settle before rebuilding something solid here, that foundation. Again, maybe a what, it may be a who, it may be a where, but um, I'll clarify everything shortly. Past energies, there it is right there. Ten of Wands, the Deceiver, King of Wands. May have had connection to a Capricorn here, but this burden that's lifting, there's been this negative, toxic, unhealthy energy that you have felt bound and chained to. This may be an addiction of some sort, whether it's within, whether it's somebody close to you, but either way, this negative energy has been weighing you down, like the weight of the world has been on your shoulders. But all of this is starting to release. This is maybe the cracks in the tower before it does put everything out there, um, as I mentioned. But settling, you're now able to start focusing on what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. Your dreams, your visions, your goals here, and that's um, this whole laying that solid foundation, because here on in is pretty damn good. <laughs> Present energies, the Emperor, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They have connection to an Aries here, in control of the situation, divine masculine energy, very confident, very logical, and you can see the success that's coming your way. Now that things are starting to build solidly from the ground up, talking about from the ground up, the Ace of Cups in the core of your reading, new beginning, new chapter, solid as, and um, could be a pregnancy, could be a birth, marriage proposal, meeting somebody new, it may be somebody you've got your eye on, there's a little well, a little, a big gecko. <laughs> we have um, geckos and lizards here. I'm in Queensland. Um, but this whole new chapter could be a job you love, a home you love. This whole new beginning is on its way. And you know it. Future energies, whole new beginnings. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands. This came with persistence, not giving up, not quitting. Just because all of this burden is released and the tower is releasing all this energy, that's not giving up and that's not quit, um, quitting. That's making way for what fits here. And I feel like there's a whole different approach towards something or someone that you're about to take here. Some very swift action, but almost like a look here, this is how it is situation because this whole successful new chapter is getting underway um, and it's come with sheer persistence, especially in dealing with this in the past. But love that, Cancer, brilliant. So let's start clarifying everything, starting with the tower overall for the week. Turned around and it's the Ace of Pentacles again. Definitely new beginnings happening, love it. You get the devil again as well and the three of cups and I'm glad it came out in that order. This whole successful new beginning cuts the chains, breaks free from that negative toxic energy, from that unhealthy energy and you are celebrating. There is this whole new successful beginning that is happening and you're making sure that this time around things are getting off to a very solid start and this negative energy is not holding you back any longer and you're celebrating this new beginning ten of wands past energies 
five of pentacles five of swords wow and the king of swords really stuck in a rut in the past banging your head against a brick wall feeling like you're left out in the cold all the time no explanation at all of why things are happening or or you're not being included in things but ultimately king of swords is there logical thinking clear-headed level level-headed i mean around that um but using your head over your heart and taking action to deal with it and in doing so that releases that burden that weight of the world from your shoulders and things do start to move forward to something a lot more pleasant and you have that whole flow on effect cancer the deceiver let's see what that's doing here but at least it's back here eight of swords the star knight of wands yeah i feel like there's been something or someone that's been holding you back from following your dreams almost like you've told somebody um your dreams your ideas here and straight away they've just gone Phew you're not doing that you can't do that and i feel like eight of swords is finding other ways around things releasing that negative energy there and could have a connection to an aquarius but focusing on your visions on where you're heading you know what you want who you want where you want to be i've said that with the king of wands we go into next but it's finding other ways around things when things do prevent you from moving forward i always say legally and morally but ultimately the focus here is on your dreams on your wishes and achieving them that's what you have down here king of wands back here so you get the magician Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. And it's almost like, um, usually when the Six of Cups, Cups comes out in the past energies, I'll say it's something further back from the past, but I feel like this is just confirmation that this past is done. This door is closed. You're manifesting where to from here, bigger and better things. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally because it's been um, a bit of a battle to get here, but you're here. And now things can start to get that whole flow on effect and start to happen. Creating the magic, creating the process, joining the dots and getting results that are working for you. And into your present energy. So bring this on. Cancer, the Emperor. King of Cups, Justice. Love that. Queen of Pentacles. Always say sweet justice. Good karma. Something's coming full circle here, a result that's working in your favor. You're in control of your emotions. You're proud of how far you've come because you've put a lot of hard work in to release this burden, to release this negative energy back here. And justice is yours to claim. May have connection to a Libra, but bring that on. Ace of Cups, core of your reading, Cancer. knight of cups two of wands the fall wow this offer of love this new beginning this may be a brand new beginning as in a brand new relationship this may be a new chapter in an existing relationship confident the two of you make a good team but somebody's taking a leap of faith here and i feel whichever one of you is doing this offering is the one that's taking the first step the first leap of faith here and you know what you want you've got this focus of where you're heading and it just may be that focus is on someone in particular and someone is ready to take that first step and take that first leap of faith around this love you shall say it may be a job you love a home you love but um with the ace of cups and the knight of cups i do feel like this is actually around love love here and the nine of pentacles princess of swords seven of swords four of swords may have connection to a fire sign here aries leo sagittarius but action is being taken okay success is coming your way and it's because you've taken action to deal with all of this i'm going to say all the shit in the past and you are now able to focus on what's coming in towards you any gossip backstabbing you're walking away with your head held high you're doing some healing everybody needs to do that at some stage and it is a big deal to say give me some space here but just looking after number one because that success is on its way and you're ready for it bring it on 
and into your future energies ace of pentacles the hanged man four of cups the sun there's an opportunity here that you're not wanting to miss it doesn't mean that you have to take um, another option that's coming in beside you here but it may bring something bigger and better and so, saying this it's because You've got the blinkers on and you're focused on this one particular cup whether it's again around work around love around home but now it's talking about shift that focus around to see what else is coming in beside you with this bigger cup here and again it doesn't mean you have to take it but i feel like this is your moment where a decision needs to be made it's getting some sort of new chapter off the ground either way whatever option you do choose here um leads you happiness joy success brilliance everything is falling into place love 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 that queen of swords <coughs> so cancer queen of swords you get princess of wands princess of cups and death may have connection to a scorpio here very compassionate very giving with your time and your energy but i feel like again it's coming back to this past done dusted closed no more this offer of love that's coming in again it's a whole different approach towards something possibly towards someone but it does get this whole new chapter off the ground getting it off to a solid foundation and a solid start but it is beginning and it's come as i said with sheer persistence seven of wands to finish got an itchy nose it's like every time i start reading i get an itchy nose and itchy ear okay so you get the empress two of pentacles and six of wands i'm going to go straight to here persistence pays off big time with that victory okay things are starting to come back into balance and alignment very intuitive very aware of what's going on around you possibly how someone feels about you possibly how you feel about them but that intuitive instinct is kicking in here but but getting things back into balance and alignment getting control of the situation persistence as i said ultimately pays off love it so cancer let's see what the universe says five of wands king of swords justice so there may be nothing smooth sailing there may be conflict disagreements drama along this whole journey here but ultimately using your head over your heart taking action some very direct action possibly brings you your sweet justice brings you that result in your favor you have justice clarifying in your present energies line may have connection to a libra but ultimately a favorable outcome for the hard work you've put in way back here even even though it may not have panned out back there you've put the hard work in to break free from that energy in the past and to get this new beginning on the on the road on the go and coming with that is your sweet justice so let's finish with star temple oracle drop them all there <laughs> uh, wouldn't be the first time so you get number 35 the lapis lazuli star starlight my inner vision guides me to my higher purpose love that brilliance total brilliance star words insight perception passion the lapis lazuli star inspires personal and spiritual power this energetic vortex reveals inner truth encourages self-awareness and promotes self-confident intuitive expression the lapis lazuli crystal is known to open the third eye chakra and balance the throat chakra it stimulates psychic sight and enhances dream recall and interpretation wear or place lapis lazuli at the throat to amplify clairvoyance and visualization 
in collaboration with the third eye, this crystal clarifies psychic and mediumship connection, thus increasing contact with the spirit realm for healing messages. Starlight. Cancer. Love it. So that's what you have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.